Yesterday was uh, the worst plunge, uh, single point plunge in the history of the Dow, but it's a little, uh, you have to look at it in terms of what, how high the Dow was uh, yesterday in terms of before you look at the worst plunge. It's a percentage is what really matters. Guy Adami, who is, and the Dow is now up, open 500 points down, or at least the uh, futures. Now it's up 200 points. Guy Adami, who is our financial guy. Hey, Guy, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just open it up with, what the hell is going on? Hello, Bill. Yes. So at one point last night, about 3 o'clock in the morning, my time, which is, I guess, sort of midnight, your time, the market, the Dow Jones, points-wise, was down about 1,000 points on top of, obviously, the sell-off that we saw yesterday. At its apex today, the Dow was up some 350 points. And I was just on with Jennifer, and I'm going to say to you the same thing. I'm not going to try to go down the rabbit hole of wonkiness because nobody likes that. But what I will say is the following. The complacency of the last years, because the market has been so strong, is coming home to roost and the volatility that you're seeing now. In other words, you see tremendous moves to the downside, followed by tremendous moves to the upside, and I dare say you have another move to the downside coming. For example, yesterday the Dow was down 800 points. In the matter of about five minutes, it went from down 800 points to down 1,600 points back to being down 800 points. Yeah, since that we, is nothing normal about that, by the way. By the way, just a, a, to your point, since we, since literally we've been on the air a minute and a half ago, it's now down 75 points from where it was uh, about 90 seconds ago. Right. So the, what is my point? The point is, for the longest time, volatility in the market has been dampened. And we have discussed that, by the way, because complacency is set in. Why? Because, quite frankly, the market's been so strong. People got lulled into a false sense of security, thinking the market can never go lower. What happened was, the catalyst for this was, believe it or not, good news. Good news in the form of a tremendous jobs report on Friday and tremendous wage growth, something we haven't seen. What did that do? It made the market scared that perhaps the Federal Reserve was going to raise rates more times than the market anticipated. That was the match to the powder keg. And now we're seeing volatility play itself out. And that, my friends, is why complacency is never a good thing. And as we speak, I came on when, when, they, when you guys called me, the market was up 300 points. Now it's up 140 points. And again, Well, actually, it's up, according to CNN uh, and Fox, it's actually up uh, to 100 points. Yeah, so I mean, by go. the so again, second, this thing how is... How quickly things move. So yeah. there's nothing... My point, I guess, is what I'm trying to make is it's got nothing... This has nothing to do with the underlying fundamentals of the economy or the underlying fundamentals of the stock market. It has everything to do with seven years of hubris and arrogance and complacency that are manifesting itself now. I hope that makes sense. It does. Because that's what's going on. It does. And my question to you is, is a 26,000 uh, point Dow, is that a bubble? Is that uh, just uh, the stocks being way overrated? Well, overvalued. It's, it's, you know, it's interesting. Now, again, I'm not suggesting anything by this comment, but the moves that we saw in 2008 and 2009 had nothing to do with how expensive the market was or the valuation of the market. It had everything to do, obviously, with some exogenous event, and that exogenous event was sort of the malfeasance going on with the, in the housing market and it manifests itself in derivative products. Again, Nothing to do with the underlying fundamentals of stocks, everything to do with this second derivative thing. And again, that's what we're seeing now. Stocks, by the way, bal corporate balance sheets have never been better. Yeah. Un and there's no way to argue that. Yeah. That is absolutely the truth. And unemployment is... Uh, is at record uh, levels. And we're wages. To see wage growth. Yeah. Everything is good. But what people don't want to talk about is these derivative products that people have been using. And again... You know, derivatives are great when they work, but when they don't, it, they absolutely blow up. And again, I'm just pointing to volatility in the market. There's nothing normal about what we've seen on Friday, 
on what we saw yesterday, what we saw overnight, and what we're seeing, quite frankly, play out in the first hour and a half of the market this or 45 minutes this morning. Can you uh, take uh, a minute to explain what derivatives are? By the way, exogenous, really a good word. That's I might a good put. word, right? Yeah, I know it's a good, good word. Well, okay, I, you know, I looked it up before I came That's on. That's excellent. Just really quickly, in one minute, uh, what are derivatives? Derivatives are, are products used to create leverage. They're, they're products used if you want to invest a dollar to make 10 that is a derivative product. They're, they're not just easily to, to identify securities. They're options on securities. In other words, I want to make a bet that the Boeing is trading 300. I want to make a bet that it's going to be trading 350 in a week, and I'm going to buy a derivative product or, quite frankly, sell a derivative product. That's really where the danger comes in. Not necessarily when you buy these things, because when you buy them, you have a, a, your risk is... Your risk is a known risk. When you sell them, your risk is unknown. And that's what we've seen. Too many people selling derivatives, and the risk is unknown. So derivatives, you're not buying the stock itself. Uh, you're actually playing roulette with the stock. Do I have that you are, right? You are playing at the $100 table, and you got a blindfold on, pal. All right. Thanks. Take care, yeah. guy.